Hello, today we will speak about six new Excel functions needed to know. Let's start. Number one, switch. Switch is very similar to if function in Excel, but using switch, we do not need to add so many conditions like in if function. Let's say here we have our data set by region, by sales representative, revenue, and we would like to know the commission rate based on region. Here we have our scale where we say the rate of commission per each region, and we would like to apply it here in this column. To do it, we will use switch function. Let's put equal, then switch, the first one is the expression. It is this one because based of the, on region, we will find the rate, right? So first is this one, and then the value is with which one will compare this one. So if we say if this one is equal to this one, then it is the result, right? The result is this. If not, we will continue and we'll say the value two. If this one will be equal to this one, will be this, the second trade, right? And now we will go to the value three. It is this one. And the result three is this one. And we stop. And here it is. What we didn't do here is that we didn't lock it, but if we will scroll down, we need to lock the, the data. So we will lock starting from the second data, all of them. And now we can scroll down. Here, everything is okay, right? Yeah. So what we'll do? Uh, so, we can say that it is dynamic because if we will put here and will change, it will be changed as well. And if we will put here, it will be changed as well. But what happened if we will put here new data? In this column, nothing appears, right? Why? Because we didn't add the range as table. If we will insert a table here and we'll say all oh, this range will convert in the table, we'll go here and remove it. And now we can put here another data. It will automatically apply. And we'll put another one and it will be automatically applied. But what happened if we will have here one region which we will not here have here in the scale? Let's say it will be Europe. It will be error, right? Because we do not have it here. So to avoid error, we can say after the end hour data, we can add the default. We can add is not is not in the list. But now it is is not in the list. So that's all. The next function is sort. Let's see. Let's say here we have our data set, sales representative, region, and revenue. And, would, and we would like to sort our data. Let's put here the function sort. Our array, it will be all our data because we would like to sort all three columns and we can finish. If we will finish, 
we can see that the data is sorted automatically by the first column, only in the first column is sorted, and the sending order, it is by default. But what we will do if we would like to sort by revenue as well? So in this case, we need to update our formula and we will go here to our function and we'll continue it. The next one is the index. The index is the column, is a set column, right? We will put three. The next one is the order. We would like to descending, right? So we we'll put minus one. And the next one is sort by column or sort by row. And our data is by row. So we would like this one, right? And that's all. Let's see. And it is working, right? But what happened if we will change here something? It will be updated automatically. Yes. Yes, you can see here. Here. But what happened if we will put here another one? And would we'll, and would we'll put here any any nothing appears right nothing why because this date range is not a table we can add a table here yes go here select everything and now we will arrange it put it here and it is updated Let's say again, put here zero, but if we will change and put it 90, for example, it will appear here. So everything working. That's all. The next one is number three, filter. Let's go. Here we have our data set, our sales representatives and revenue for each sales representative. So we would like to sort sales representative with revenue, only those revenue who is greater than 20,000. So let's see. We'll start, we will put our function filter. The first is the array. The array is our range. The next one is include. What does it mean? It, me it means that the result we will compare with our revenue, right? So it is this one. And we say if it is greater than 20. And enter here. And that's all. Everything is working and it is dynamic. So, for example, if you change here and put 10,000, you can see it is updated automatically. What we can do here also, we can sort using the previous function to sort this one by revenue, as we have sorted in our, with our previous function, right? Let's check, put here sort, then filter all function, the, the array will be this one, then we will say sort index. It is a second column, right? Yes. Then we would like the sending, right? And the next one will be sort by row. And 
and it's so everything working right and the number four is x lookup let's see here we have our data set our region sales representative revenue and commission and let's say here we have our sales for example maria and we would like to put here our region for maria and commission for this for this region and for maria let's start put it equal look up and then look up value it is this one right and next it will be look up array it is sales representative so this one the next one it is the result we would like to receive the return array it should be region so it is here and as you can see we go from right to left and we cannot do it with lookup function we can do it only with this new x lookup function and that's all here it is indonesia right let's check maria indonesia and now we would like to find commission we will go on put x lookup choose the value maria choose the lookup array it is sales representative and next the return array the commission the commission is this one and as you can see we do not need to choose all columns as we do in lookup function and that's all and here it is let's check yes it's correct and it is dynamic as well as you can see everything change and number five is sequence let's see let's put sequence here and let's say we would like to add 20 rows and what we will see it will be starting from 1 to the to 20 20 rows also we can use it to add columns let's start with rows we would like 20 rows then columns let's say three columns when start then start we will start with number two and then step the step is the numbers between our numbers it is a step let's say it will be free and let's see how it is working so we're starting with number two and the step between numbers is free from the first to the second is free from the second to set is free and here as well is free right and we have three columns and that's all and number six is unique let's see the unique function we use to find the unique values from the data set let's say put here unique and choose the, the range we'll say sales representative we would like to find the unique values of sales representative so we can see here our sales representative you would like to find the region and say all this region and find only one we can see that we have only three regions 
but also we can use the unit function to find the value which appears in the range only once. It is a different of the first one when we find the unique values. We will find the value which appears only once in all range. Let's say unique the array will be our cells representative. Then we will choose true will return the unique columns or false will return the unique rows. The rows, of course, because we have rows and not columns. We choose this one. And the next one we will return items that appears only once or will return unique items. Unique items is basically this one. So we will choose the first, the value which appears only once, this one, and click enter. And we have Norbert and Maria which appears only once. What happened if we will remove Maria from here and put Mark instead? Here it, it disappears as well, right? So it is dynamic. And that's all. Thank you for watching.